Hello everybody, you're watching Curious Power and this is episode one of the Curious City Guides. The city guides that we show you what to see and what to do mainly for one day, but we add some curiosities to them. We're starting with Cambridge. <laughs> Number one would be just explore the city as a whole. There are a few ways you can do that. For many people, Cambridge is the cycling capital of UK. So rent a bike and cycle around. But be careful, with so many bikes, there are many thieves around. Number two will be walk around, it's really nice. Number three, just take a bus, but you will not see that many things. But before you explore the city, come and explore the river. And the best way to do that is via punting. Punting comes from a punt, which is a square flat boat for shallow waters. You must not mistake it with gondola. Firstly, the design is completely different, and secondly, the tool you're using is also different. And while with the gondola you're kind of rowing, you need a basic pool for the punting. Just like this one. The oldest standing bridge is Clare College Bridge. Curious enough, there is a missing stone piece from the bridge. Nobody knows why, but there are few legends about it. One of them says that the person who built it did this so he can claim it as unfinished and pay less tax. This is the Bridge of Sides, more like the Bridge of Sides in Venice, just like they have nothing in common, just the name. The Bridge of Sides in Venice was named because the prisoners were going to their death, that's where the sides were coming. While here, students were going to take their exams, and that's where their sides were coming from. We will suggest to do the punting at the very beginning of the day, because after that it gets quite busy. All in all, there are about 25 bridges, and on the punting tour, you're gonna pass by nine of them. This one is called the Mathematical Bridge. There's so many myths about it, and they're all wrong. For example, it is said that the Isaac Newton built it, which is wrong because he died about 20 years before the bridge was built. He says also he didn't use any nits and bolts, and they are nits and bolts. This is actually the third bridge that was built. It needed to be rebuilt a few times. And even though it looks like an arch, there are only straight timbers there. And you can go on Queen's College and walk on the bridge. We chose Cadamores for our punting tour and our punting guy, Will, was amazing. Highly recommended, but buy your tickets either from here or online. Don't you ever buy punting tickets from King's Parade. King's Parade is the main street in Cambridge. Usually very busy and you can find many illegal punting operators here. Don't buy tickets from here. But while we're here, you see that tower over there? When you go there, turn right and continue forward. You're gonna find yourself ahead. Market Hill, or also known as Market Square. The market has been here since Saxon times, which is located in central Cambridge, and you can find literally everything. The market is open daily from 10 to 4 p.m. By the way, there's a really interesting shot you can take of the market, and it's from upstairs. Let me show the building. And it's 
snap! What a cool photo that is! So from here, you not only can see the market, but 360 of the city. And this actually is the tower I mentioned earlier before. Over there is King's Parade, or just word. And next to it, you can see King's College, which is part of Cambridge University. And when you come to Cambridge and look for Cambridge University, do not expect to see a huge building with a huge sign saying Cambridge University. There's actually no building for this university. Cambridge University is just different colleges spread around the city. Here are a few. Trinity College, founded by King Henry VIII, is the largest and the richest in the city. Queen's College the only college in Cambridge that has timber buildings. Sydney Sussex. And Emmanuel College. And while we are here, let me show you something curious. When you come inside the chapel, not only it's a nice atmosphere, but on the windows you see different people. And on the second window here, you see John Harvard. This is the guy who graduated Cambridge University, went to USA and established Harvard University. Quite an important figure. Did you know that Cambridge University was founded by scholars leaving Oxford? That happened after a dispute caused by the execution of two scholars in 1209. Some Cambridge graduates include Stephen Hawking, Isaac Newton, Alan Turing, and Charles Darwin. Cambridge University has produced about a hundred Nobel Prize winners and about one third of them are from Trinity College. Welcome to Cambridge University Botanic Garden. Admission is six pounds and goes without saying that if you go to a different season here you're gonna get a different view. Today I'm looking for a tree. The garden was created for the University of Cambridge in 1831 by Charles Darwin's mentor, Professor John Stevens Hunslow, and has a plant collection of over 8,000 plant species from all over the world. Ah, here it is! Remember the story how Newton was sitting under the tree and then an apple fell down on his head and the gravity story came up? Well, this tree has a distant relationship to that story. The tree that grew in Newton's garden blew down in 1816. This tree was given to the garden in 1954 as a grafted plant, not one grown from seed. This means that it's genetically identical to the original and produces the same variety of cooking apples as Newton's did. Well, that was curious, wasn't it? <laughs> the garden closes at 5 p.m., so make sure you spare enough time to see a lot from it. The garden is also close to the station. Now I'm getting the train back to London. You make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and if you think we missed something from Cambridge, let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.